him. The last kid or kid I want to talk about is all the guys on Brem Prep. Um, or not all the guys, but a few of the guys on Brem Prep. I watched them play as an AAU program this past summer. I saw them last season, and I saw them twice at the Tournament of Champions uh, in Washington, Illinois. And there were, I knew these guys were good, but there were a lot of kids uh, in this past weekend in those two games I saw them that raised their stock in my eyes. First one is Bruce Barron, their point guard. He's a 6'4 combo guard, um, and he is the perfect type of player to be on that team. They have another point guard on that team, a smaller guard, number 24, I don't know his name, who's a good ball handler, and he's kind of like um, Mario Chalmers is on the Miami Heat. You know, bring it up, give the ball to D-Wade, D-Wade gets the ball in his hands and, and does his work. Bruce is a physical guard. He's crafty, taking the ball in the hoop. He is not an outstanding passer or an outstanding scorer, but he's great at both. Great defender. I actually heard he used to play kind of in the post when he was younger, and that, that's helped with his physicality as a guard. Really good outside shot, and, you know, again, not great. You know, he's not great at anything, but he's really good at everything. And I don't think that there's a program, a college program in the country where he couldn't go in and, and contribute. He's a junior guard right now. It's going to be fun to see him continue to develop, but he's a guy who I'm really, really high on right now. The next guy is a guy who I've always been really high on, uh, James, I, no one knows how to say his last name, Siakam, Siakam, uh, but we call him, I guess we call him Bamba. 6'5", uh, 6'6", six, 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 forward for Brem Prep. This kid, the only way to describe him is explosive. His motor's always going. He's always trying to dunk on somebody. He's always being aggressive. He doesn't care how tall you are. He's trying to block your shot. And this is this is the kind of kid that you just want to have on any team. Um, if he can, he doesn't have much of a face-up game right now. He can't really. I've never seen him shoot from outside. On his free throws, his form does not look great. He has huge hands, which might hurt right now. But if he can develop that face-up game, I don't see why any. He, he couldn't also contribute at any school in the country. But as of right now, even without a face-up game, um, he's going to be a fun player to watch develop over the next uh, two seasons. He's a junior right now, and like I said, this kid dunks on everybody. I'm a big fan of him, uh, so watch out for him this weekend. The third kid from uh, Brem Prep that I want to talk about, I don't know how to pronounce his name either, it's Otto Osin something. He's a 6'9", 6'8", forward, uh, just transferred in to Brem Prep before the season started. I hadn't even heard of him before I saw him at the Tournament of Champions, but he really, really impressed me. He's big, he's long, he runs the floor well, and he knocks down threes. This kid has a stroke. I can't comment much more on it because I've only seen this kid play twice, uh, but I'm really, really intrigued by him, and I'm looking forward to seeing him for the rest of the season. I don't know if he's a senior or a junior, but either way, uh, he's definitely, from what I've seen, a Division One prospect, and it's going to be fun to watch him play these next few uh, games this season and see what level he might be at in, in, in the future. If any of you out there have suggestions or comments or questions that you want me to answer on here or anything else like that, email me, danielponeman at gmail.com. I'd be happy to answer them for you. I'm a resource. This is my full-time job, so I'm happy to be here for you guys. Uh, the reason I do this is to help uh, fans uh, be more on top of it and have more entertainment. So let me know if there's anything any of you guys want to know. Um, until next time, I uh, will see you all with, check in with you all with my coverage from the shootout the hall this weekend. I'm hoping to get to the Rich, Rich South Creek game on Friday. Uh, I guess that's all we got for today. Until next time, I'm Dan Poneman, IllinoisHSBasketball.com, and we're out.